Looking back, there were three cartoons that were always on Saturday morning TV as far back as I can remember. And that was Bugs Bunny, Scooby-Doo, and Super Friends. I can remember watching these as a very small child in our trailer down on Fox Branch Road. When I turned six, we moved to our home out on Goshen Road in Santa Fe, Tennessee. I was there until I got married in 1993. And during that time period, from 79 to 93, Bugs and Scooby was still airing in one form or another, but Super Friends sadly left the airwaves in 1986. Super Friends started back in 1973. It, like Bugs and Scooby, went through several title changes, but remained the same type of program. The original title Super Friends was followed by all new Super Friends, Challenge of the Super Friends, World's Greatest Super Friends, Back to Super Friends yet again, and it's around this time period that I felt like I'd outgrown the show. But I came to my senses in return for Super Friends Legendary Superpower Show in 1984. In the final 85-86 season, the show became Superpower's Team Galactic Guardians. When I was a kid, around the world's greatest Super Friends run, we had a rule at our house growing up. The first one to the TV on Saturday morning ruled the TV. That was the rule. I got up way too early. We were sitting in front of the TV on the carpet watching Super Friends and eating King Vitamin cereal. I set my nearly empty bowl on the stereo up and to the left behind me. Commercial is over. I reached for my bowl without looking and I poured the Milky Mess all over my head. The logical thing would be to relinquish the power to my brothers or sister. But no, I would hold my position. I was defiant. And on that hot summer day, with only fans in the house running, I was stinky. The show was loaded with superheroes, and as you know, I really like superheroes. So on today's show, I'm drawing the original 1973 lineup of the Super Friends, minus Wendy Marvin and their little dog, too. I'm using mixed media here, it started with pencils. and sharpie pins for inking and some basic permanent markers to fill in the black spaces color pencils color markers and of course white gel pens
I thank you all so much for watching this. So if you're watching this and you haven't already, please like it. And if you can, share it. And hopefully you will subscribe or your friends will subscribe. Somebody can subscribe. I don't care. One of you can. But now, here's the big announcement. I'm going to start selling the original pieces I do here on the show. And this is the first of many, I hope. The link is down below in the description so you can order it for yourself, for your friends, for your family, whatever. Maybe one day down the road I'll start doing prints of these. You can order online, but I haven't got that far yet. Thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you next time on Draw TV. God bless. Vance Kepley is a self-taught artist who has worked in various mediums, including drawing, painting, and graphic design for over 20 years. He now has his designs here on Tee Public, old school, unique, stylish. He is also available to help you with your original Tee Public designs. Make sure you visit Vance Kepley Art 1972 at teepublic.com. You'll be glad you did. Ha <laughs> ha